All right, today I'm going to show you how to make duck to go. Basically, it's a nifty little way to carry some duct tape with you at all times because you never know when you could even need a piece of duct tape. So this is the larger size I made. It has um, 36, which is three feet of duct tape on it, 36 inches. And then this is the smaller one um, that has 12 inches. Um, and these are really good for zipper pulls. The smaller ones are good for zipper pulls, but they're both good for backpacks. You can make a ton. Um, and then you can have different looks on it. I like the look of the washer on top of it. Um, I think it just gives it a nice cleaner look. I have one here without. It's still fine, but I just think it looks nicer. So the things we need to make this, and I also have, um, these are called cotter pins. I like to use them. They fit the little uh, clasp that you can put on here to hang it on anything. Um, and they're easy to wrap. Now, to have them this way, uncut, I cut them um, to make them shorter so I can put my washer at the top. But another way you can do it if you don't want to cut, because they are kind of hard to cut, you might need mom and dad or somebody to cut it for you but you can also use a pony beads and that'll allow your length here to cover the sand up because you don't want the end sticking out and scraping on anything and cotter pins you get at the hardware store i'm kind of a hardware store buff i like looking around and getting ideas to make something that's how i came up with this idea um, but I was selling mine, so I got them in a big amount. But these ones are um, an eighth of an inch. That doesn't really matter. Um, and then the, these ones are a two inch. Um, basically, we need our cutting mat to measure out. The cotter pins, the little fasteners. Um, the washers you want, and then the pattern of duct tape that you want to use. So now if you want to do it with the edge cut off and the washer, okay, don't let this intimidate you, but I have bolt cutters. Shouldn't everyone have bolt cutters? So I just take the end and trim that off. It's really easy with these. I'm not sure if everybody has them in their household. They're a little harder to cut with wire cutters. Um, but if I was gonna, which I did, if you're gonna sell them or, you know, make them, um, it's nice to um, have that cut off there. So then you just take your small washer and put it over till it comes down. You're just gonna take your duct tape and measure out 12 inches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Cut the edge. Same with this, you just want to make sure that when you start it, you have it even on your pin. I just smooth it down there. And if you just keep going, the washer's kind of nice because it makes it a little easier to wrap them. It's a flat surface, so. It does take a little bit to learn how to wrap them perfectly. 
Um, but the good thing is tape is cheap and practice is, is easy enough. So I'm just watching that it stays even with that. And the nice thing I like with this washer is it's actually a perfect size that it covers the, it couldn't be more perfect on the end to cut, cover it right there. So there you have it. You have your duck to go. You just take your pin to put it on the end. And there you go. So you've got many different colors you can use. And the bigger one's the same. You measure out 36 inches. And you um, roll it. Again, this is a little bit, it's longer, so you have to, a little more tedious. You just take your time and roll it in. And same idea. I use the two washers because I like the look. But again, I sell my stuff, so I try to make it to where it's presentable for buying. But that doesn't mean it's not presentable if you... Um, don't put anything on it. It's still cute and fun. You can make it out of so many different patterns. I think I have like 119 patterns of duct tape. 400 rolls. I don't think I'll ever run out. But uh, there you have it. So we're going to make the long one right now, the 36 inch one. So you're just placing on the cotter pin your large washer. And then you're going to measure out 36 inches of duct tape. Now, this board is 24 inches, so I'm just going to hold my finger there. Four, 36. It's okay to leave your tape hanging over. Just cut the 36 inches. All right, so you're just going to line your duct tape up on the pin. It takes a little practice to get it right. It's not always on the first try. So just shape it around there. And then I just start spinning it. And just keep turning it. Like you just make sure that your tape is turning up here. It's usually going to be lined up pretty well. And you just keep turning. Go slow. Again, I'm just watching that edge of that tape on there. So if you just hold it like that and keep going.
So you have your 36 inches of duck to go, all nice and neat. You can put your little end on here. I'm going to attach it to your backpack, your key ring, anything you can think of. It does take time and practice, but Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither is duck to go wrapping around nicely. I hope you enjoy making your duck to goes and I'll post on the bottom what you need and all the fun little uses that you can do with your duck to go.